so today in this video i am going to solve very important question based on the question keypad question so how to do this question before doing this i would like to explain that we will not using this much value in our question because this is using some special character seems like this so in java we don't have anything special with this character so that i am not using this but we are going to use these characters 2 3 4 5 6 and so on all these characters up till 9 we don't need to use all these things again because this will containing some special characters that we don't need okay so what exactly question needs question needs that if we have given input uh, as 2 3 then it will provide me this much output so how we will achieving this output so for achieving this output we just need input for sure and we just need to go through with the last index before going to the last index let me first of all explain that in recursion we have some base case because we don't need stack overflow error so that uh, our code will run uh, unexceptionally very uh, wrong but it is right but due to some things or some errors it will uh, loops through the infinite loops so if we to handle those things we just need to use the base case and after that we just need to use the some recursion calls recursive calls and then we have left with small calculations Recursive recursive calls means that it will call its function again and again or itself calling its function is called as recursive calls the function will call itself again and again to achieve the required output till it reaches to the end point and after that there is some logic behind in every question we used some logics to build the or to uh, get the output so in this question we just need the last index and the remaining in uh, elements so the last element here is 3 but how we will use uh, or get this 3 in case of programming so I am using Java over here in this we just need to mod the given input with 10 and then we will lift left with 3 over here so this way we will accessing the 3 value and the for the remaining value we just need to divide this by 10 and we have 2 left with so this is all we have the excess of last index and we will have the excess of remaining index so for the last index we have some values I have already comment something over here so this much value that you are going to see over here at the 0th index and the first index is null value because we don't need some special characters used in keypad so at the first position we have some special characters seems like this so that we are not using this so I will be initializing it with null values and for at the third index or at the second index we have ABC at the second index and at the third index we have DEF so at the second index we have ABC and the third index we have DEF now the thing left behind is we just need to recursively call all these things to achieve the required output using some logics or small calculations so we need to have some code part over here so as you can see over here we have already written some code over here we have some main class in which we have scanner and inside we have this much function which will not be declared over here let me declare it first so it would be static because to access the same class and it will not returning anything so that I am using vo uh, void over here and it will returning only single input value that is num so that's all the error goes from here now we will need to use uh, the approach that we have decided before for this approach we need these options 
so that we will accessing def abc and all these things when we required so for doing this question we need some output so initially output is nothing it's null so let me create one more function with the same name but different attributes if the function have same name and having different attributes then it will be uh, having some function overloading okay and it will called as function overloading in simple words so static void print combination and then we have to use int num over here and after that we just need to use so why will using this because we need to declare inside like we need to use the num value we need to use output why will using this i will be explaining it furthermore so that you are able to understand and we need to use options so output would be string string output and then we have string array with the name of options all right now let me close this so what's going on over here oh i think that i have passed uh, wrong values at wrong function so it would be seems like this now what we have to do we just need to close this all right now we have number comes from here so let it be 2 3 i will be try in uh, running this uh, so that you are able to understand what's going on so the number is 2 3 and after that we have string having no values initially and uh, we have options array in which we have all these keypad values and then we have to return these things by using some function okay so this number will go over here output here and options here and inside this we have to use base case as i have already told you that if number is equal to equal to 0 and if the number equal to equal to 1 then it will returning me or print uh, giving me some output so that i am using output keyword over here because it will returning me output if we it comes to the end remember in recursion it is necessary to define the base case if it is not defined then it will returning or uh, giving some wrong or infinite output values so that we are using this and here we just need to return why will returning because we need to access all the values recursively again and again so that i am using return over here now we need to use the last index so let it be last last element or last index let it be num more 10 as i have already told you if we want to access the last index then it will be seems like this now we need to store this value somewhere or some uh, in some index or in some value so that i am using string as one and we need to store those things so at index last so we have input as 2 3 okay the 2 3 mod 10 would be 3 the last index is 3 so the options of last index is seems to be abc as you can see over here 0 1 2 sorry def so we have left with the def uh, at the s1 string we have def value stored okay so we need to use this by using 
loop and i equal to 0 and then we have i is less than s1 dot length so i will be explaining it furthermore so that you are able to understand that why you are using for loop over here so inside this i am going to declare one more function or not a function we just need to initialize some values inside that function so the value would be according to the logic or process that uh, output required so output require is like we need the last index that is 3 and then we need to have uh, the excess of some uh, unused element that will be not be used 3 is used then the unused element will be accessed by using num more divided by 10 so it will be providing me some remaining values and after that we have output so the output would be seems like we need to have s1 value so caret let it be 0 ok it will uh, here the thing that is coming is 0 because we need to have ad ad as output so the output value stored over here and then we have left with options so this will provide me ad ad because at s1 dot caret 0 the position we have d and at output position we have nothing so it will store d initially and after that it will uh, providing me 2 as number and after that 2 will come over here 2 mode 10 is 2 so the last next is 2 so it will giving me abc and a will store again so it will giving me ad ad as output so let us see that ad 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 will coming or not so let me jump into the output part let me type here 2 3 and as you can see over here ad 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 so it is not the required output so that's why we are using for loop to get the required output and in case of 0 we just need to use i so that we were iterating toward or uh, through each characters used in this strings according to the required output so here we go i also that you understand that how exactly question uh, goes and this question is really very very important if you are a beginner or uh, you don't understand anything then I suggest you to go through with the recursive calls that will be based on these things solve something some more questions on your own so that you are able to grab that how exactly we are going to solve the question so at the last we have some small calculations so this one is the base case ok and this one is some small calculations calculations and this one giving me some recursive uh, sorry this one not a small calculation this one is the small calculation and this much will giving me some recursive calls because this will moving again and again to this function if you dry run yourself and then you are able to understand that what is going on it is very difficult to explain you already know but I have done my best to explain that what is exactly going on so I hope so that you understand and do subscribe or like this channel have a nice day good day